Students at five local schools are celebrating Kindness Week by giving back to our community. And ABC 15's Amanda Kenseth is live this morning at Seaside Elementary School in Garden City Beach to explain what they're doing. Good morning. Talk about what this is and what's going to go on. It's the Great Kindness Challenge and schools all over the nation do it. And um, we're backing it up with uh, all of the St. James Cluster schools are participating. And we've got different activities every day. Today was Team Up for Kindness, so we're all wearing the same shirt for the teachers and the students will be there, whatever team they want to be. And then we have something different coming up every day, like tomorrow's Peace, Love, and Happiness. And they'll all dress like a hippie and show that they're going to carry it forth and this morning we're going to have a kindness tunnel out front for the kids to walk through. Oh, how cool. And uh, you've got a rockin' outfit on, Carrie Kindness. I am Carrie Kindness, and I'm going to be sharing the joy of kindness throughout the week. So we are ready to be kind, not just this week, but throughout the year. And talk about why this is important. I mean, you're a teacher, a second grade teacher. Talk mm -hmm. about why this is important, talking about being kind and teaching that to the students. It's something we strive all year long, but just recognize it for a week long, doing different kind events throughout the week and spreading it within the community, getting the community involved with our cluster schools and others in the community make it even bigger and better for us. Right, and throughout the week too, um, you guys will be collecting stuff as well, right? Um, so the things are toothpaste and toothbrushes um, and then some toiletries and whatnot. And this goes to local homeless. Local homeless shelters homeless. and we're gonna collect them and our student council is actually gonna make up the bags and deliver them on Valentine's Day with a heart inside and oh. read a story to the children. That oh, are very there. cute, very cute. What's the easiest way to be kind? I say a smile. If you see somebody that doesn't have a smile, give them one of yours. I like it. Okay, give everybody a smile. It's Kindness Week. Be kind. Yeah. <laughs> and you know that it's Crystal please. every morning smiling at me like, come on, Matt, smile. Wake no. up. <laughs> well, somebody's got to on this shift. we got to help each other out, right? Feel the love. <laughs> All right, happening this week, the Great Kindness Challenge. Some local students are devoting the next five days to performing as many acts of kindness as possible. ABC 15's Amanda Kinsett is live at Seaside Elementary in Garden City Beach talking to the teachers about what's going on. That's right. It's going to be really cool when the kids arrive today. Let's see. Everybody has to get your signs out. Kindness matters. Uh, kids will be out here um, holding these signs. They're making a little tunnel and stuff, too, for the students when they walk in, right? Absolutely. We're very excited for the kids to be here and, and show them how we're going to be kind to each other and how they can be kind to each other. Right, and you know, setting a good example and talking about this, especially with kids that are at a young, impressionable age, I, that's something important to do. It's very important, and it's just so much easier to be nice to each other and treat others how you want to be treated yourself. So we're just making a, a big deal about it in our cluster schools, and, and we're really excited about it. Right, and you're the Seaside principal, and you're Burgess. Now, are you working together, or are you kind of competing against each other for this? How does, it, how does the challenge work? We're definitely working together throughout our cluster with the high school and middle school and St. James Elementary to focus on kindness for the Great Kindness Challenge this week. Right. And so what are some of the things that you're doing there? Um, we are tracking how many kind acts kids do. We are um, working across the cluster. Middle school kids and high school kids are coming down to our school to read and help open car doors. We're collecting items for the homeless to create kindness bags. There's a whole variety of things we're doing throughout the week, as well as our sister schools. Right. And now collecting for homeless, uh, all the schools are kind of doing this. These are some examples of some of the things you got. Toothbrushes and toothpaste, some toiletries, whatnot. And we're going to collect something different every day, and then our student council is going to package it up, put a heart on it, and we're going to deliver it on Valentine's Day. And if someone, you know, doesn't have a child in school but they want to drop off items, they can drop them off at any of the schools? Any of our cluster schools will be happy to accept donations. Okay, very nice. Okay, so what is this? So you need to clap and yell for kindness. Go. <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> and give someone a hug today. <laughs> I like it. And let's see. Smile for kindness, which we said, you said smiling is a great. And what's the other way of kindness that we were shown this morning? Coffee. Coffee, Coffee yeah. is also a form of kindness. Absolutely. <laughs> Guys. Here, I'll clap and you can yell. Okay, woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Yeah, or we'll for both kindness. do it. <laughs> then we got our coffee, don't worry. Students at five local schools are celebrating Kindness Week by giving back to our community. ABC 15's Amanda Kenseth is live this morning at Seaside Elementary School in Garden City Beach with a closer look at all those cool signs they've made this <laughs> morning. 
Yes, these cool signs. Hold them up. This is what everybody will be holding up outside when all the kids get dropped off for school. And we've got Seaside, Burgess, and St. James here. And Noah, you're here up early. What are you guys doing at St. James? The kindness challenge. And what are some ways to be kind? Just like help a friend. Stuff like that. Very good. And that's what this is all about, right? Helping other people and smiling and just being nice. Yeah. Absolutely. Over at St. James, we're trying to do that. We're starting our day with um, manners today and dress to impress. So going out and using your best manners and doing those things. We're also pairing up with our schools, our other cluster schools, to help with the homeless, a sock drive on Wednesday. Um, our main goal there is to cultivate growth. And so in supporting our journey to excellence this year, we've decided that this would be a way to help our students understand that kindness, you know, strengthens the soul and grows the spirit. So very nice. Yeah. And all the schools are teaming up. Um, you guys, you guys have this for all your students and um, talk about what you see in the children when you do this. Well, at St. James Elementary and all of our sister schools, we do practice being kind to each other every single day. So this challenge is, is really something that is, is uh, at the heart of all of our children. So this week, we just want to really uh, express that and let the community know that we are kind to one another within our communities and within our school families. And you're being kind to homeless, too, I know here at Seaside anyway, and Burgess, and everybody's collecting different items to hand out. So um, today we're collecting toothpaste, and I think you said on Wednesday is our sock drive, and um, one of the other days just uh, individual snacks, and all of that will be donated to our uh, local homeless shelters. And what can kids expect when they arrive at school today? Lots of excitement, lots of smiles, and lots of kind words. Right, and... Uh, we have lots of coffee, too, because we decided as a whole, like, <laughs> that is a good way to be kind when it is up this early in the morning. Now, you're a little young for coffee, but you're, you're awake anyway, right? You ready for the day? No. No! <laughs> yeah. You're ready to be kind anyway? Yes. Yeah, all right. Kindness matters, guys. <laughs> what a great effort there this morning. Absolutely. We'll be checking in with her one more time in our next half hour. Happening this week, the Great Kindness Challenge. Some local students are devoting the next five days to performing as many acts of kindness as possible. ABC 15's Amanda Kinziv is live with some of them and their teachers at Seaside Elementary in Garden City Beach to explain what they're doing. Good morning. Yeah, I mean, it's just a little bit of everything. Like today at Seaside, they're giving out <clears throat> these little gift bags to the bus drivers. Later on, the lunch staff and the custodial staff. We've got uh, the elementary schools here and middle school came out too to talk about <clears throat> being kind. I know at the middle school level, especially, that's an important thing because, you know, kids not, aren't always kind, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> middle school is probably the toughest age group, right. especially and for this. You've been working hard, too, with the anti-bullying and whatnot. Mm -hmm. How does this play into that? Well, the Stop Club we started years ago was part of a character education thing we needed to do because we knew in middle school we had a lot of uh, bullying. And, you know, when I was young, it was just students maybe were verbal bullying, but now it's social media is big and a lot of peer pressure. So the Stop Club came in to help to do things like this, to make signs, to promote them, to bring in speakers, to sell T-shirts, whatever it took to kind of get the message of just being a good person, having good character. Right, and you've got them kind of hanging all over the school, and uh, we're holding signs right now because when the kids show up today, they're going to be greeted by, you know, these signs and energy and excitement. And uh, we've got, come up here, we've got to show off your outfit right here. Carry kindness. Carry kindness. And spread the joy throughout the week, <laughs> as we do all year long, but to this week especially. Sure. So let's show off. We've got to make a little tunnel, right? Because when the kids arrive today, they're going to be in a tunnel. All right, Noah, start us off. Why don't you run on through here with the tunnel? <laughs> and come through this way again. Yay! All right. High five for that. And how are you going to be spreading kindness this week? I don't know. I'm just going to help friends and then, like, people that are sad. I'm just going to help them out. Nice. And have you woken up a little bit now? Yeah. Yeah. That run through the tunnel. It was energizing, right? Yes. <laughs> That's what it's all about, spreading kindness, not just this week, though, for the whole year. Guys? Yeah, yeah. it is. And their kindness tunnel is looking a lot better than ours well, you know we just have the couple Come on, of us Caitlin, you know? <laughs> um, anyway great effort there by all those local students this morning absolutely